Hey, today I'm hydro dipping a bass guitar body from uh, Moose Lady with Marabou Easy Marble Paint. Uh, I did this before and was not happy with the results. The color faded, it wasn't vibrant. Uh, so you're gonna see me adding a ton of paint here, which is a huge mistake probably. Uh, but um, just the quality from the, the, the previous dip just was so bad with, with the way it faded, the colors just didn't have any pop. Um, so I'm going to try to add a lot more, maybe add a few more colors, which is also probably a mistake. But uh, these are all colors that I wouldn't necessarily use. This body is more of a practice body. So I'm just going for it. Let's just see what happens. Just dumping it all in. I tried using, like, doing the dip or the, uh, the drop method where you just drop, like, four or five in and go in the corners. And it will basically... Uh, filmed over within 60 seconds it wasn't quite enough time so I got the guitar halfway dipped and it just became a globby mess um, I, I realize the way that I'm doing it now you know it's it, the colors could run together um, we could still have a little bit of that hardening but uh, like I said I mean I was so disheartened with this paint that I was just like yeah let's just see what happens also right there probably uh, didn't help the way that I just mixed that uh, went a little bit too aggressive I should have gone lighter and it's turning kind of gray brown um, from maybe a little bit too much over mixing already so let's uh, see if I can recover this a little bit and eh, whatever let's just go for it like I said practice body just seeing how this paint does seeing if I can get vibrant color pops let me go slow side to side not too slow, not too fast. Um, I am always worried with this is just going to film over before I get all the way down, so keep that in mind. And I primed it with uh, the Rust-Oleum 2X. I tried it with black before too, and the the color didn't show at all. So the the prime does have to be lighter than your lightest color, otherwise you're not going to get anything. So let's clear that away. And there you go. Um, kind of what I expected. It swirled. There's colors, but they're really dull. I, I don't know. I just, I'm not a fan of this paint. I, I just can't get the colors I want. There's no pop. Um, they're dull. They're just not lively. Ugh. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be using this type of paint again, unfortunately. So, yeah, the sides, I don't know. There's a couple cool swirls, especially on the side. Um, it's kind of super messy down in the, the bottom left of the guitar. Uh, yeah, like I said, it's a, it's a practice body. I just wanted to see the difference between doing the, the drops and, and doing a pour. And a pour definitely wasn't the way to go. It, it's just not great looking. Um, super messy down there the colors ran together and made that like grayish brown mess um, at least the color didn't fade at the top which was like the problem I had with the, the drop method besides the filming over it just didn't get enough in there to coat the whole guitar so there you go